everyone! Today I thought we could take some velvet ribbon and do a little craft together and make a few bows, so follow along. So I have three colors of velvet ribbon to work with today, and these I picked up at Hobby Lobby um, a few months ago, but they obviously should still have them, and they're $3.99 each, but I like to buy them when they're 50% off. So. So to start, this first bow is going to be very simple. Um, you can measure your ribbon. Sometimes I just like to wing it. Um, but let's see, I'll probably use at least 12 inches for this first bow. Alright, so for this first bow, I cut 20 inches of the mint ribbon. And then, so this is going to be a super simple bow. I like to do these um, a lot on packages and things like that. So you're going to make... So to start, you're going to make um, what kind of look like little bunny ears, and ideally you want these two ends to be relatively even. Um, if they're not, you can always adjust later, but you're going to take these and just tie a bow like you would with your shoes. So you're going to take your back loop and push it through the front, because you want to have this velvet showing. You don't want um, this side showing, so you want to make sure that you have that, and then you can go ahead and adjust. So once you have your basic like knot done but not pulled tight, you can manhandle um, and twist and make sure you get things exactly how you want. Um, and this thing is you can pull if you have one coming up, you can pull it down and that it's not perfect yet but that is looking better. And then you can just pull really tight to get a tighter knot. That's backwards, so we want to turn this. So this is looking much better. Might tighten that a little. Flatten those. And these are a little bit uneven, so we can just go ahead and give those a trim. So there's two different ways you can trim. You can just trim on the diagonal to give it a slant, or you can fold and trim to give it um, how would you describe it? Like a little peaked look. I'm going to go for the peaked look, so what I've done is I've folded the ribbon in half here, long ways, and then you're going to come in from the open side. Sometimes I do this wrong, so I have to really think about it, but come in from the open side and just trim it. Alrighty, so there we have our first bow, which is very simple, but I think it's a nice classic look. And you can put these on packages, you could put a little hair bow on the back, you could put a headband ribbon or anything like that. And um, it would look super cute for Christmas. Alright, so for our next bow, I think we're going to use the green this time. And this one I think I am, well I did measure the last one, but this one is an easier one to measure out. So I think we're going to go with... 8 inches to start. Okay, so I have an 8 inch piece of the green ribbon and I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to fold both sides in like that. So you get like that little shape and then I'm going to take so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take hot, whoops, lost my new glue stick and my hot glue gun. I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue and put it right here. Line of hot glue and I'm just gonna lay this one on top. Just give it a little press so that it adheres. And you can definitely glue through the middle here too if you want. And you can also do this with a needle and thread. You don't have to use hot glue. So we're gonna take our ruler again and we're gonna cut a second piece. And this time I'm gonna do it at six inches it's going to go on top of our 8 inch circle so I want it to be a little bit smaller and I'm just going to repeat the same fold and glue step. We have both our 6 inch and our 8 inch circle. We're going to, you can just lay them on top of each other just to see if you like how it's going to look when it's all said and done. Um, and you see we have a little bit of a size difference there so it adds some interest. I like the way these two are looking Whoops, um, on top of each other so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here in the middle, not too much, um, and then I'm just going to glue this one on top. Ribbon to complete our bow, it's going to go across the center here, and this, the size of this ribbon all depends on what kind of ribbon you're using. So I'm using a 7 8, 7 8 inch, so about 2 and a half inches is going to be perfect for me, but if you use a smaller or larger ribbon, you're going to need a different 
Alright, so to finish this up, I'm just going to turn this little contraption here sideways, put a little dab, that was kind of big, but that's okay, and then glue right here, and then you're just going to wrap around. We're going to wrap, add another little bit of glue there, and then just pull this piece around and kind of tack that down, fluff it up, and there's our second bow. Alrighty, so there we have our two bows for the day. And like I said, these can be used um, on packages, on hair bows, um, on paper clips. You can literally use a bow for anything. So I hope you enjoyed.